بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وصلى الله على النبي الأمي برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين الحمد لله it's Allah's, Allah's fadl and karam who allows us to discuss and share the life of his beloved صلى الله عليه وسلم and the companions of his beloved صلى الله عليه وسلم today we discuss a family whose mother should be known to us and her children Hazrat Abu Musa Ash'ari رضي الله عنه says when I came to meet Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam with my brother, we found that this sahabi and his mother were from Ahlul Bayt. لِمَا نَرَى مِن دُخُولِهِ وَدُخُولِ أُمِّهِ عَلَى النَّبِيِّ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَى وَسَلَّمُ This sahabi and his mother were in and out of the home of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This is how close this family is to the family of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The Sahabiya's son is so great. Allah's Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, if you want to read the Quran exactly as it was revealed, غَضَّنْ كَمَا أُنزِلْ Fresh and exactly as it was revealed, recite it. How the Sahabi reads it, meaning learn it from the Sahabi. And subhanallah. And in this hadith, the beloved of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentioned him attributing him to his mother فَلْيَقْرَأْهُ عَلَىٰ قِرَاءَةِ إِبْنِ أُمِّ عَبْدٍ Read it according to the qira'a of the son of Ummu Abd Subhanallah So Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in this hadith refers to the mother of the Sahabi as Ummu Abd and who is this great Sahabi whose mother and family we learn about this is none other than Hazrat Abdullah bin Mas'ud radiyallahu anhu. His mother was Ummu Abd radiyallahu anha. So subhanallah, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam refers to her as Ummu Abd. Sahaba referred to her as well with the same title or reference. Like Umar radiyallahu anhu would refer to her like that. Hazrat Abdullah bin Mas'ud radiyallahu anhu would refer to his family as Alu Ummi Abd. Like his students came to visit him one day after Fajr. But he felt that as they were coming, they didn't want to disturb him. So when they arrived, because after that they still mustered up the courage and they came. So Abdullah bin Mas'ud radiallahu Hazrat Abdullah bin Mas'ud radiallahu said to them, ظَلَنْتُمْ بِآلِ أُمِّ عَبْدٍ غَفْلَةً Did you all think that the family of Ummu Abd are negligent people? What is meant by ne- negligence in this context? is where after Fajr we must go to sleep. No, that is the time to make the Qur'an to benefit, to learn, to teach and so forth. Some students out of consideration felt leave him, let him rest after Fajr and this is what he said to them. But the point here is he refers to himself and his family as the family of Ummu Abd. So this is how the Sahabiyyah anha was referred to. She was none other than Ummu Abd bint Abdwood bin Sawa bin Qurayn till the end of her name. So at least remember this much, Hazrat Ummu Abd radiyallahu anha. So Hazrat Ummu Abd, one son was the famous Hazrat Abdullah bin Mas'ud radiyallahu anhu. But her other son was Utba bin Mas'ud radiyallahu anhu. Both and they all hail from the Hudayl family, al Hudali. Like we recently discussed the brother of Hazrat Umar radiyallahu anhu namely Zayd bin Khattab radiallahu anhu. We all know Hazrat Umar, but very few of us sadly know his special brother who actually embraced Islam before him and became shaheed before him. And similar is the case of Hazrat Abdullah bin Mas'ud radiallahu anhu, whom amongst us doesn't know Hazrat Abdullah bin Mas'ud radiallahu anhu. But what about his brother, Utbah bin Mas'ud radiallahu anhu, among the earliest Sahaba to embrace Islam. And he migrated to Abyssinia, the second hijrah, to Abyssinia and he resided there. Why did he go there? To protect his Iman. And then he made Hijrah to Medina Munawwara. He's a veteran of the expedition of Uhud. Hazrat Umar who loved Utbah as well. And Allahu Akbar, when Hazrat Utbah passed on, it was during the Khilafah of Hazrat Umar radiallahu anhu. Hazrat Abdullah bin Mas'ud cried profusely and said, this is my brother and my companion with Rasulullah meaning both of us were Sahaba 
of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam and then he said to his students after Hazrat Umar my brother Utbah was the most beloved to me wa ahabbu an-nas ilayya illa ma kana min Umar what this means is Allah ta'ala and his Rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam goes without saying that his most beloved to sahaba kiram radiyallahu anhum but after that they love the sahaba kiram radiyallahu anhum and they love each other because sahaba are the beloveds of Allah and the beloveds of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam there's also a report in Mu'jamul Kabir and Haythami grades it as sound Hassan he says that when Hazrat Utbah passed on Hazrat Umar before doing the janaza and the prayer waited and looked for the mother of Hazrat Utbah namely Hazrat Umm Muhabbat radiyallahu ta'ala anha so what an amazing family so close to Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam what amazing tarbiyah this mother gave her children that her son Abdullah bin Mas'ud radiyallahu anhu becomes the first to outright to openly recite the Quran Karim loudly awwalu man jahara bil Quran since it was revealed and how did he embrace Islam subhanallah it seems that his brother Utbah heard about Islam because Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam was giving da'wat in Makkah Mukarramah every non muslim in Makkah Mukarramah was met and was invited to Islam by none other than Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam and the sahaba kiram radiyallahu anhum Allah's beloved sallallahu alaihi wasallam would invite all of them then Hazrat Umar Abu Bakr and Hazrat Uthman and Hazrat Talha and Hazrat Abu Salama and namely Hazrat Khadija Hazrat Lubaba Hazrat Fatima bint Asad radiyallahu anhum wa anhun the sahaba and the sahabiyat were inviting to Allah were inviting to Islam we learn from sahaba radiyallahu anhum that the men invite the men the women invite the women but we find that the women folk would also invite their relatives so many senior sahaba radiyallahu anhum had embraced Islam through the women folk of their family look at adib bin hatim radiyallahu anhu he embraced islam through his sister she was his inspiration safana radiyallahu anha hazrat uthman radiyallahu anhu as well was inspired by his aunt hazrat umar radiyallahu anhu was inspired by his sister fatima bint al khattab radiyallahu anha so subhanallah the sahabiyat were inviting all the women to islam and they were also inviting their relatives Look at Hazrat Umm Shuraik radiyallahu anha or Umm Sharik she would go to the to the women folk in Makkah Mukarramah and visit them in the absence of their men men folk and she used to invite them to Islam so Hazrat Utba heard about Islam and he embraced Islam but Hazrat Abdullah was younger and he would go early in the morning to the outskirts of Makkah Mukarramah tending to the flock he was employed and he had this flock and he was a loyal uh, em- emplo- employee so every day as he would go and this actually through this he hadn't actually heard much because as a shepherd you leave early and you return very very late at night 